I'm sorry, but I never heard how we had the connection between Elias and uh, yes, Santa Elias, Cruz. Elias had, had a daughter, a granddaughter named Mariana, and Mariana Gonzalez married into the Chartist, the, 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 into the Hodakis, and Hodakis was Ananasia's grandmother. Okay? And that's what you're, you're on, on your pedigree chart. says, you never went to a dance unless you were invited. So 
So it wasn't the whole city of Tucson, all 500 people, 600 people, that went to the Wonder Dance, unless it was like the one that Sam described. I like it because, because uh, Jesus fired the gun and he'll be drinking. It's probably pretty, pretty popular. There's, there's, uh, there's uh, a young man trying to be a uh, you know, Juan, you know, and uh, you know, all of us quite much. Sam described it as a different He talked about later on with a pig. He said, I'm not going to leave my pig home because we both like pork, you know. <laughs> and she also brought her dogs. And she said, I don't worry about the dogs. If the dogs bite the gringos, it doesn't right, you know. Uh, but the part that I liked was when I had an action, uh, I learned many years ago first about the San about the San Agustin Church and how they took their, their, their they took some rocks and some sticks and their hands, and how they dug that baby's body. They gave the name of that lady, by the way, in the history. How they dug that baby out of the wall of the baby wall of San Agustin Church. And then how did she take that baby and cast it home? What did she do? She took her neck here, a little closer to her palm. She took it around her head. She put that palm on the top of her head. And she walked in the river near her house. And then they took and he took a few days. If you don't remember, please go back and read page five. If you want to know what the two sons was like, put the women, you know, only one eye showing, you know, and how Sam probably we could get the answer see what all those women look, look like, you know? Yeah, he had, he had, he had, he had three hormone levels, isn't it? Probably like the same, you know? Anyway, and there's a Santa Cruz River right there. The Santa Cruz River, go up and then go down and disappear, come up and go down and disappear, you know? Uh, I do have records where Modesto Mario supposedly said that during the flood seasons, during the flood seasons, he could take a, a raft and he could go from Tucson to Tubac. You can't do that today, guys. I can't do that today. You gotta go the other way. <laughs> from Tubac to Tucson. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Bob. Anyway, that's, that's, that's the sign. Uh, excuse me, is that the one that's the Pimento? What is the ruin of a Pimento? Is that the one that the big new building that the Tucson is like? That's the ruin of that building.
nice to have Tom here. Yeah. Thank you. He's a member of our family. Go back to that first map just for one second. Sure. I got it. Okay, go ahead. These are the these are the ones that the US government said we don't have. Now we're just going just a few. Our family claimed a lot more than this. Okay, but these are the ones that Right here. 
He was loving to look at that one. He wasn't quite that good looking. When she right? was a young kid, Aunt Ruthie called me and said, Cliff, I want to I, I want to be the Grand Marshal in the great respect in order for me to do that, I've got to get my daughter involved and get her, get her ancestry. We, we, we signed up her ancestry in. I included this whole thing, plus the two pages of Jim Officer's research in the family history book, because I knew this was once every 150 year type thing. I put in there how we were the first Europeans in New Mexico and the first Europeans family settled in Arizona. So that's in that little history book. It's, it's in the little addendum things. And so she got to be the Grand Marshal. Okay. And see what it says right down here? I didn't really have any idea that my family was that old. I'm talking about old folks now, right? <laughs> she says, I can't wait to be the strap. <laughs> okay. Well, here I am, Tina. Anyway. She didn't say that. But anyway, so this is this is Tina. By the way, now, Knox Corporal, I understand, also has some 11th and 12th generation uh, kids, uh, Arizonans. So we have as many as 12 generations born in Arizona. Tina's one family, and then the Corporal's another. Knox Corporal. So also. Hey. Okay. 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 Asher, and this is special, special lady to me. That's Petra. Remember <coughs> Petra? is named after Petra Alcantar, which is our our our, our Indian. My mama, right here in the front, her name is Patricia. She will make that for her great aunt. Petra. <coughs> Patricia is the anglicized version of Petra. So my mama, named after this lady, and she will name that for her after great aunt, after her Indian grandmother. Okay. Uh, uh, next up, when we have about 45 minutes, so we're going to, we're just going to tell you a few stories. Uh, okay. Oh, this, this is us. Now, as you know, uh, I sent the story to all my brothers and sisters and Aunt Ruth and my mother and said, if I've got to do this wrong, you've got to tell me now because there's going to be enough wrong already. I want all the family stuff to be correct. Okay? I had always heard that we were, that we were Hohokam Pima. That's what everybody tells me. Okay? In addition, my sister Caroline said that Grandma Black told her one time that we were Hohokam Yaki. So if you're a Hohokam Pima, you're a Hohokam Yaki, I thought, how many other things could be? When the Spanish came in, the, the uh, Hohokam were already living at Tucson. There were already people living at Tucson. There was water. There was food here. Okay? So I, I did some more research. And what happens is, is up here, in southern Winslow, right over here, that's mostly Navajo Hopis. I found some DNA studies when I'm on PubMed. Uh, they now have DNA studies that show that the Navajos all came from Canada. Okay? Whereas the Apaches came from the from the Comanches, and the Comanches came up around the New York area. We're talking about thousands of years ago, right? Okay? Tracing tribes, not tracing individuals. Okay? But guess where all of these people came from? Central America. So it doesn't matter. We probably do have some Yaki in us. We probably have some pockets, some, some capital, maybe some Salt River Indian. Who knows? Okay. We probably have a whole variety of Indian blood in us. But Adam Asha always told family that she was a Pima Indian. Up here. This one. Uh, the DNA studies are saying now that the DNA of the Mulumian people also came from Central America. It was up here. I had to mention the Navajos because many in our family in Winslow are not real fond of Navajos. <laughs> and some of us are, some of us are not. And they came from the north, and this group of very much involved where they came from the south. Okay? So we are called Hokum Pima for sure. We probably have some Yaki, we might have some you know, Salt River and in Indian, but we are certainly Pima. Indian hair, Indian eyes, okay. nose, Indian features, the high cheekbone, each anatomy, remember? Okay. And if you see a look at one of her later pictures, you can actually see the little 
cornered eyes. Cornered eyes. Because remember when the when the Spaniards went into went into Tucson, there was any people that had come not only from Central America, some of some had come across from Japan and Asia, they come across the Bering Strait in there. Okay? So I'm talking a whole bunch of Japanese people in here too. You see, we have a whole picture of blood in us. Okay, we have Asiatic, we have Indian, we have Spanish, we have Welsh. Nobody in here is a pure blood. I'll tell you that right now. But that's all a part of the excitement, is because we have such a diverse background. I think it's great to have a diverse background. That's, that's my
little mountains right there, sliding on the bottom of a huge steep veil. I went over there one time when it was snowing, and it was, it was scary going down that mountainside. Little English car seat. I have a Jeep with four wheel drive. I love to have a fish. And I was used to four wheel drive, you know, four wheel low and four wheel high, you know. That little English car, I, I, I think I skied on all four wheels going down the flight again. This is where our views came from. That's Wales. I love that. In fact, Jonah, Prophet Jonah and I have one thing in common. We both love being in Wales. Oh, is that corny or what? Huh? Is that corny? I do love this is this is Wales. That's the way that uh, that's the way the Sam's ancestors dress. Is that a little bit different than the way Anadash's ancestors dressed? Oh, yeah. Is there a contrast there, guys? Uh, a little bit of a contrast? <laughs> Both the streets. Both the streets. Over here for more. This is my companion trying to start our car. And then in those days, we actually had to start the car with the old car and crank front. Well, I'll tell you what, I almost lost my hand. Those things are going to go kick that gun over this right. That fool will come back. That's why he was doing it. <laughs> the kilt. What's that? Not, not to the hilt, but to the kilt. Was 
research that we've done, that we've heard about family histories. The whole last half of that book about Sarah and Asia, where they tell their own stories, they are literally telling that to you. Because I went through all these humongous records, and I literally quoted them as they told a newspaper reporter, or as they wrote it in a journal, or as they wrote it in a letter to a family member. Everything in the last half of that, that about Sam and Adam Ash and their life histories, they are telling you their life histories. So if there's anything in dispute, let them kill the ancestral part, I take it. You know what? Everything in the last half of that book is right out of their mouth. So you can believe what's in it when it says, when Sam says he was in Eureka during these years, and the devil got tuberculosis this you can believe it. So, Andre, the king wants to know how you're, how you're coming along with St. George and the Dragon picture. St. <laughs> George and the Dragon. Okay? There are no mistakes from here on out, because I quoted Sam and Adam word for word. Okay? So, we're going to go through real fast. This is the Sam I always knew. I've never seen that picture anywhere. In fact, I need to apologize. In your little history that you, that you I sent you to pick up today, all of those pictures I had were taken off of newspapers that were over 100 years old. So that's why they don't look real good in, in, the, in the history. I'm sorry. That's all I had. Okay? I've never seen this picture. Except the newspapers. That's the signature. Sandy Hughes. Okay, I had to put this one in because Sam, remember he spoke Welsh, right? He didn't speak English. Sam spoke Welsh. And so, when he went to school in Pennsylvania for the first time, her answer off by miles, and Sheila's cow sense was always the target of ridicule. Sam says he went to school for three days, and he got ridiculed so bad because of his Welsh accent, he left. And he never went back to school to learn. Three days his education. So, I'll just speak some Welsh. Okay? This is a platform ticket going to a town of Wales. And it means, it means the little chapel at the bottom of a veil near, uh, near uh, a Roman bridge over the, over the little aqueduct. Okay? This is where the water the water the feet. Okay? Listen to this. Talk about German being better. Welsh and Welsh. Very good. Plan Meyer, Holst Wingish. Holst Wing, English. Say it. Okay. Plan Go, Rilleran. Then, then Bro. Land the Cilio, go, go, go. That's the name of the camel. You ready to read that? Last part we got, go, go, go. Okay? We got that part, okay? We're all about that. So maybe you can understand now why Sam had a hard time in a very early Pennsylvania school. So this, so this is how Sam learned. This is Sam's way of learning. He loved every minute of it. He really tasted life before. You remember, he almost died twice of TV. I'll tell you what, when a man almost loses his, his life, he realizes how delicate life is. And Sam saved every minute. And every one of his successes, every one of his failures. Okay, we talked earlier about how Sam came to Tucson. Sam says that he was not on a horse. He was on a horse when he was in that San Francisco or in Oregon. He came out of his back and arrived in They thought they were leaving him there to die. And this is the Tucson that he knew right there. We're talking about that church right there. This is Sam Tucson when he first got there. And again, everybody. 
everybody wants to know, and now you know. Why did Sam stay in Tucson? Why did he, why did he stay in Tucson? Because he was alive. That's the first school. That's the old Humber school. I'm supposed to tell that last night. That's the first school. The second school that Sam helped build in Tucson. Thank you. 
kind of difficult in the history book. Okay, we need to change gears now a little bit. Okay. Two o'clock, straight up. Okay, I've got about five minutes. Okay, realistic. Inadvertently, Roy dooms the entire Earth to annihilation when, in an attempt to be friendly, he seizes their leader by the head and shakes vigorously. Okay, <laughs> we also love our family too. Okay, We're, we also want to be friendly. And so, we want to realize that Sam and I should travel a great deal. I had to get a big one. Here it is, the first Roman man stage. Now, I had a, remember, once had a cruise, but he died, and a man had been born in that, in that, in that stage, that those are the stages. Guadalupe couldn't afford to keep the, the uh, Durans after her for money or building. And so she gave them uh, the land adjacent to the, to the stagecoach building. And so when all of those cops came in Tucson, for $125 from San Antonio, Texas, Tucson, John Wayne was right. Okay. Okay. The National Senate, their fifth plan, we already talked about that, how they went out to get married. That was the picture that was in the Life history, how, how Sam bought her some beautiful uh, wedding that was uh, China, and how on their wedding he gave her that China, and I was fortunate to end up with one of those. And then 50 years later, and actually saved it for an entire 50 years of marriage, and when they had their 50th wedding anniversary, she bought it out again. And I know the two or three of you here have this. Or history, that's that for both sides. Even though, always worried me 
was, I thought, who knows for years and years. What worried me was, was according to all the histories I've ever read by everybody, was that when the United States came in by a Mormon Mormon battalion, most folks, most of the residents of Tucson left Tucson. Guess who didn't? Adam Ash said, I was standing on the wall when the boxes all happened. Our family, they'd already been through Spain and Mexico and the whole, you know, the whole Confederate government thing, and so one more, one more foreign invader was nothing. Okay. I had to put this one in. Those of you that can read Spanish, can you read that? Matthews, we're, Matthew, we're getting one of those strange habla espanol sounds. Okay. Que pasa? What's happening? Habla espanol. Okay. What does that mean? Being feo? I thought feo was ugly. You are ugly? Is that what that means? Ruthie, where are you? What I need you. Is Ruthie still here? It's good and ugly. Bien, bien, fail, good and ugly. Oh. Very ugly. You, you are very ugly? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Good day. Okay. So, you know, that's exactly it. He said, that's what doesn't have stand He had to learn. He was wept. He just spoke up. He had to learn English to do business with his English partner. He had to learn Spanish to live with his wife and his kids. And he says that his kids all spoke Spanish. Wow. Yeah, she cuts the Spanish pretty good, I <laughs> And you, she also comes you with that, with that thimble pretty good. So you didn't want to get out of that, she's mad. Because she left while she was testing. Okay. This is now out there in the, in the trail. I want to tell you this because one of the really great family stories I love, and this is not in your book, one of the great family stories I love is, remember Adam Asher was born and raised in the little Tucson city. Nothing but mud and dirt and loving family all around her. And so they were married three years, and Sam says, we're going to go on a honeymoon. Where do you take her? He takes her down to Mexico to hop on a boat. Has she ever seen an ocean before? All of a sudden, she's on this, this boat, and she was all the way from, from Mexico, all the way up to San Francisco, 17 days on the water, she says. And then when she lands, what day did they just happen to land in San Francisco? The 4th of July. Here's all these guys shooting off all these guns, and Adam Asha says that night, besides, there's thousands and thousands of people. She went from maybe 2,000 or 3,000 people in Tucson, and she goes to San Francisco on the 4th of July. She says that night they had the fireworks. And then she says, I've never seen the like that my whole life. She said that was incredible. Could you imagine what a honeymoon she had? And then Sam says, okay, Anasha, tomorrow night we're gonna go to the opera. <laughs> she says, go to what? <laughs> we're gonna go to the opera. And so these glasses, if you look at the date right up there, it says 1863, and they were at uh, and these, these were made at Paris. They, 1865 was when Sam had a national to the opera in San Francisco, and he bought the gold glasses. You can see those glasses in that picture. Can you imagine that many machine? Isn't it fantastic? I can just imagine that national. She was so full of life, so full of energy. I'm so full of something, but she was so full of energy. You know, and I could just, I could just, I could just picture that national hanging on to Sam's arm, going. What's going on around here, you know? What's happening? You know, I want I want some more uh, I want some more Spanish the soul around here and all of my friends back. So you can go see that next door. Okay? This is a picture I love. And again she's what? And you know what I saw yesterday? One of Tom's pictures? This picture is in this library right here. For Fifteen bucks you can get a, a five by seven from the original. The original of this is in, is in this vault. You can't see it. You can wear white gloves. You can see this picture. 15 bucks you can get a copy of your original. And on the back it says, Pregnant with Maggie. Pregnant with Maggie. My mom was grandma. That's Lizzie. That's Lizzie right there. Lizzie, did you come from Lizzie? This is Sam. Did you come from uh, LC?